Hello. Cronark, you're doing well? Glad to hear it. Look who we got here. We got we got both cats hanging out. Look at him. Hey Orc. Cats, yes. <laughs> yep. Hello. Let me let me know if I'm saying your name wrong. Lurch? Lurch? Lurchy? Why cheer? Let, please let me know. <laughs> I'm really bad at pronouncing Twitch names, and I've just kind of given in that I'm gonna get them wrong, and then people can tell me how to sound it out. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm very curious to see how far we get in Outer Wilds tonight. I think we're getting close. I feel like we're getting very close. I might actually need some help tonight. We'll see. I got, like, last stream, I spent, like, two hours inside Dark Bramble, and then I, um, uh, I, I figured out, like, one thing on the comet at the end, and that was, like, it. So, <laughs> we're, we're, uh, we're gonna see how far we get. Uh, Lie cheer. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, it's an old OC name from when you thought needlessly of two spelling was good. I mean, like, I don't think it, like, Twitch names, like, really, like, matter all, all that much. So, like, if you like it, that's what's important. Um, as, as long as, like, it doesn't annoy you to, to do exactly what you just did. Because, like, my name um, is uh, Ray Elise, uh, but everyone thinks it's Ray Elise. And at first I was kind of annoyed by that, and now I just, like, don't care. I'm just like, whatever. I don't care what you call me. Ray is, is good. There's one or two things I need to progress. Yeah, that, that seems to be correct. Um, so I, I definitely want to find these. And I have one idea... And if it doesn't work, I'm probably going to ask for a hint. Just just to get things moving a little bit. The quantum caves, I also I just have like no clue. So we'll start with Dark Bramble. And I'll tell you what my idea is. And then when we get to Dark Bramble, if it doesn't work, we'll go from there. Um, but my thinking is that I can use the... Uh, not the scout. This guy. To try to find the shuttle. I'd like a distress signal or something. I don't remember if the other ones had one. Uh, I guess we can find out very easily just by going uh, here. Because if this one doesn't have one, then... See what happens if we get close, maybe. Uh, I guess not. I guess that is not how that works. Dang. Alright. Whatever that was, that was a different planet. I'm certain of it. Get closer. I, yeah, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna be cool with a little bit of backseating in this particular stream. I know I have it in the rules, but, um, if there are any, any mods in chat, don't, uh, uh, We don't need to be too strict about it this stream. Ugh! Come on, come on. Is that it? Like, that can't be it, is it? That's gotta be, like, the guy on the other side. Let 
about this thing? You know what? I'm gonna park. I'm gonna park for a moment. And get out. No, no, no! No! Alright. <laughs> Aha! Aha! I have to be outside the ship. Okay. Alright. Cool. Too dark bramble. And then we're gonna be outside our ship in dark bramble, because that sounds fun. I've actually done that before and uh, assumed it was gonna be a horrible time and just uh, didn't happen to uh, get my signal scope out. That's what it's called. But how are you guys doing? Orc, how are you doing? Kronark, how are you doing? Uh, Lychir, how are you doing? Permission to backseat a little harder. Um, well, let me, let me try this first, because I've got a good hunch, and if I need further assistance, I will let you know. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Fuck, fuck. Too fast. We're going too fast. Alright. Ship. Stay here. Alright, well, let's go a little further in. I didn't realize I got that far away from my ship. Also, I feel like Harvey is just, like, watching the game with me. Here, can I, like... I want to, like, move my camera a little bit. Oh, no, Harvey! God damn it! Whatever. Hey, Loof. I was just trying to set up a Harvey cam, and then he was like, nah, I'm out of here. I don't want to be on TV. Loof, how are you doing? Uh, Loof, just so you know, we're being a little bit easier on backseating on this stream, so you don't have to, uh, uh, give any- give anybody the mute. Yeah, Harvey is camera shy. I feel like I've gotten so much more, like, brazen with Dark Bramble, just because I'm, like, sick of having to come here, so I just, like, want to go through it really quickly. Uh, not X. That one. There we go. Those are all gonna take me... Back to the the center. I don't know how I keep getting so far away from my ship. I always think that I'll just like stay right outside, but um. Like, I can go in here. I'm gonna try going to the center one. And hopefully not pissing off anything on the way. Uh, oh, right. I remember how this works. We pretty much are in the center and then it just redirects us. So I'm actually gonna go back. Uh, 
that's not where I want to go. Oops. It's only a matter of time until I piss off one of those fish. There we go. Back out. Just gonna irritate everything. Yeah, I think I done did it. I done did it. Yep, alright, he got me. That's fine. We'll go back. Cats, what's going on? At least one of you needs to settle down. Where are you going, Ellie? She she has no idea what she's doing. She's just pacing. And back in the window. Like her favorite place. Favorite place to be. Um. <gasps> but yeah, I um it's interesting. The last couple of days, since my uh hundred follower stream, um I've like taken a little bit of a step back. Like, I took a couple of days off because I, I felt like I was streaming a lot. Um, and I reminded myself that this is just a hobby and I don't have to take it too seriously. Like, I'm definitely going to be, like, super appreciative and happy of milestones and all of that. But I was, like, getting into the headspace of, oh, I need to do a 12-hour stream or a 6-hour stream or whatever. I need to, like meet these expectations that only I am imposing on myself. Um, so, I don't know. It was just good to kind of, like, uh, have that reminder to myself that I'm just doing this for fun. Gotta keep a good pace to avoid burnout. Yeah, like, I I have an absolute history of pouring myself into my hobbies. Um, like, the prime example is that I wanted to learn sewing, and so I learned how to sew stuffed animals so that I could go to conventions and sell them. I made that into a small business, which then I took with me to college, where then I went to college for four years realized that it wasn't something I wanted to do for the rest of my life, and then I had a degree that I don't use. <laughs> just, like, that's just, like, what I do. I overdo things. So, I'm, I am very motivated to not have that happen in this uh, venture. Here's another idea. Hey, ship. Stay? Please? I was wondering, so here's my thinking for why I'm doing this. I was wondering if, like, the different, uh, entrances might have a different sound. But I think it's all just gonna be the harmonica. RV? RV, buddy. Hey, Lou. Lurking for now, but you'll be back later? Uh, well, thank you so much for the lurk. Down, 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 down. Oh. oh my gosh. Here we go. Down, 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 down. Don't die, though. Down, don't die. Down, don't die. Alright. Made it. Used up, like, all my fuel. Harvey, do you want to go out? Let me let the cat out. Please hold. Wants to 
I swear, you open the door and they both stare like I'm insane. <laughs> They're like, do we go? Do, do we, do we go? Do we go? Do we, can we, can I, can I, can we, can we go? It's the cats. It's man. They're very cute though. All right. I'm on the right track with the, uh, with the signal scope, right? Though. Oops. Sort of? Okay. Sort of. Hmm. The last place I'm gonna check before I ask for further help is, uh, the, like, more center area. Which, I don't even know if that's gonna really work, because the last time I went there, I, like, flew around a lot, and I didn't find it. Uh, didn't find anything. Not the vessel, not the... Uh... Not the... Not the... Escape shuttle. Escape. Yeah. There we go. This is, I feel like this is the fourth time that I've done this. Also, I think it's cool that they're in a different orientation each time, I think. And the cat's back in. I'm starting to think they're kind of cute instead of like absolutely horrible and evil looking. Oh, I didn't hydrate from the your points. Hold up. I've got water. I mean, I could hydrate with coffee, but Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Alright, here we are, once again, at the center. <laughs> Did I make it mad? I hope not. I hope I didn't piss it off. I might have. I do have a bit of a question. Well, like, this is just to myself, but I wonder what happens if the, uh, anglerfish run into these in the center. I wonder if I can, like, make them run into it. Yeah, come at me. Come at me, man. Come at me. Oh, well, that didn't do anything. <laughs> a brown trouser moment dropping out of the ship and seeing a fish right there. Okay, well, that didn't do anything. I thought that maybe something spectacular might happen, like, on a very low chance. But, eh, you know, can't, can't win. Can't win each time. 
All right, so you may backseat a little harder. I I give I give permission. That's wild to me that there is a signal, but I had to be like at it for it to show up. I find that strange. And like reading through all these logs. You have to record it? Oh, so do we we have to go back to one of the other ones is what you're saying? See that I never I never would have figured that out. I would have just been going all around aimlessly in Dark Bramble for like ever. And that's wild. Well, thank you. I feel like this game is mostly very intuitive. Um, uh, like, finding the shuttle. There's a giant beam of light. That makes it much easier to locate, right? Like... And then the other one has it too. It also has this, this light. But because I've never had to use my signal scope to, to get a signal like frequency before, it just never occurred for me to, to use it. I mean, I guess unidentified signal nearby, but I didn't realize that if I, I didn't realize that it would do that. Um, which also, makes me think that the, uh, you know what, while we're here, and while it's like the very start of the, uh, uh, of the sequence, let's go down to the, ooh, because I, I think, I think I get what I'm supposed to do here now. Yeah, ta-da! No kidding, ta-da. Um. Yeah, now I want to go back to the quantum area, this little quantum room. Because I bet that that unidentified signal... Wasn't it this way? Am I crazy? Maybe it's just further up. Maybe it's here. Ah, yes. Okay. Cave shard. <laughs> A whole mechanic that I just never, never clicked. That I was never like, oh yeah, that makes sense. You have to scan the thing that says unidentified signal. <laughs> I could have found the pod from the aimless uh, bramble wandering eventually. That's probably how I would have done it, to be honest, and it would not have felt good. Like, that doesn't feel like solving a puzzle. Hey, finally. It emits, it emits a signal. <laughs> and we go back to Dark Bramble. Conveniently right here. I have to go away from the twins. Oh, but today I went grocery shopping, which sounds uneventful. But I haven't actually gone to a physical grocery store since, like, 
December or or uh, November um, because I didn't have a car. So I, uh, I've been getting my groceries delivered for a few months. And so today, going to the grocery store for the, uh, for the first time in so long, I spent like an hour and 15 minutes just aimlessly just going up and down the aisles and like trying to find stuff and decide what I wanted. I was, I was out of practice grocery shopping. Distress beacon. Oh god, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why it pains me a little bit, but... <sighs> but man, I am just, uh, I am so glad that strawberries are in season again. I adore strawberries. Um, but, like, when they're not in season, they're just not good. I'm also finally not turning off my uh, headlights when I'm in Dark Bramble. Because for a while I was just like making sure my headlights were always off, even though I knew it was, uh, uh, th that they were blind. The other thing we have to find in here is the uh, vessel. Uh, Cronarch, how long did you play this game for? I like so. I remember when I like looked up a uh, a gameplay length, like, expected how many hours. It told me, like, 20 minutes, because I know that that's, like, how long the loop is. Um, there it is! Look at that! Uh, but I actually have no idea, like, what the gameplay expected length is. Oh, how exciting. We made it! Man, I bet I went, like, so close to this thing when I was trying to just, like, aimlessly find it. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our, uh, our movement and, our, yeah, our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We've held out as long as we can uh, could here, but this pod's supply of breathable air is nearly depleted, and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance of survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or, more probably, await rescue. Seka, is the message finished? The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It will be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here, quickly. The vessel's beacon is growing fainter. It will be gone in a matter of hours. This is the first one. This is the, uh, this is the first bit of, um, interactable text that moves, I think. I actually, no, there's a couple of those little tokens that, like, float in the air. Um, but it's pretty rare. Usually everything is kind of, like, fixed in place so it doesn't, like, move and get lost. It's just interesting. Uh, a half an hour is actually needed pretty much. Uh, blast your way through if you know what you're doing, but personally, um, only really played an hour. But that's because you watch someone play it and ruin it for yourself. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, because I'm, like, getting close to 40 hours, something like that. 35, I think. And I was just curious if that's, like... I Oh, right. I always do these backwards. I was just curious what other people... Uh, how long other people played this for. 
Um, Escape Pod 3. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from Vessel. Now launching Escape Pod 3. Multiple collisions have altered pod's trajectory. Significant damage to pod detected. Navigation error. Life support error. External environment scan complete. Gravity not detected. Breathable air not detected. Multiple life forms detected. Potentially hostile. Do not exit pod. Unidentified signal nearby. I bet I know what that is. There's a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. But it isn't possible for a vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. I agree, but the beacons are uh, exactly identical to each other. Perhaps if I had more time. On average, 40 seems about right. Yeah, it, that's it feels right. I don't feel like I'm going through the game particularly slowly. I just kind of got stuck for a minute. We're nearly out of time already, Din. The vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it will be gone and we will be lost. We will follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. But suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the farther of the two beacons, Din. The decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. This is still a chance. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal. I did notice those lights when we approached. This is just the like a the escape hatch. Ah, I guess I should have read that little text before it uh, was gone to us. But I probably would have just said escape hatch. <laughs> what? What? No! Up, up, up. Escape pod three survivors, they're not they're not alive. There's no chance. Optimistic, yeah. I see, I see. Oh, yeah, bummer. There's a lot of them, too. Yeah, that's... Oh, no, I didn't mean to hit him! <laughs> I'm such an ass. <laughs> I just... Uh... Hey, hey, Seb. Oh, I'm a jerk. I'm just trying to get it into the thing. There we go, all right. Let's let's get out there and read this and pay our respects and not just nail these guys with a probe. Uh, to any who come here searching for us, we followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but now can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seed, yet the opening is too small for even a single nomai to fit through it, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. I don't understand how this could be plausible, but this gruesome place seems uh, able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our, uh, our undoing. So to be close to the location of the vessel and still so far is difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying. Soon we will be unable to hear it. Uh, there is nothing we can do now but try to perhaps find a way inside, or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dearest hope... No, no. Um... My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. 
Wow, that's sad. Thunk. <laughs> Monster! I deserved that. Okay. I'll probably go back and clip that later and just... It's just nailing the guy with the probe. <laughs> Duplicate signal. Alright. Uh, actually, before we leave, I'm gonna try to get in the better... You'd think I'd be in the better habit of, like, checking this by now, but just to make sure that we got everything before we leave. Alright, I'll, I'll... Actually, I'll read this now. The survival's... Can one of the vessels? Okay. Okay. I think... I just need to go to the scout. They did a good job hiding this, though. Like... I probably... It would have taken me ages to find it just wandering around. What am I... Get up. Out. What is this? The hell are these rocks? Kronark, I don't like when you when you when you're just like uh It's just a big rock just floating around. Never seen this before in your life? Is it a bug? I don't know. <laughs> Open, we're back here again. This one seems more poorly placed. Oh my god. Alright. Gotta put the controller down. Just a hazard to make life di difficult. Don't recommend letting one slap you. Yeah, I can see the devs doing that. They're like, we got to make sure it's not absolutely 100% guaranteed that you're going to get where you're going. Oh, Seb, I went back and watched um, Garlic's VOD from the drawing without a reference and Lou as well I think you were there I I was uh I was not but I went and watched the VOD um and oh my god it was so cute the your the, the drawings of you two so cute absolutely adorable I loved the the one garlic did of me too. I like I want to use it somewhere, but I I don't even know what where? I don't know. Ass fish. These fish are dicks. You were there for part of it? They were so cute. What I, I didn't watch the whole thing though. Was the one in the tub was that orc? I was like, I I think it was Orc. At first I was like, is that Allie? For for like the, the thigh references? But I don't know what Allie looks like. <laughs> yeah, I, d I don't know where I would use it, but I, d I definitely want to ask. Or even just like, I kind of just want to just save a copy of it just to have it, because it made me so happy. Allie's a mystery.
I am very glad that the uh, the shuttle gave me all the info I needed to get to the vessel. Might legit use it as a profile picture or something. Yeah, I can see why. I It's funny, because I was wanting to... Um... Oh, wow. This is like a whole new one. Whole new area. I was wanting to uh, go on like Fiverr or something and hire someone to do like a caricature of myself because it seems like more people have caricatures as their Twitch uh, profile pictures than um, actual photos. And I like the photo that I have, but it almost like doesn't fit the rest of my stream like setup. I don't know, like all of my emotes or drawings and stuff. We're here! Uh, we're gonna get out. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should look around first. Welcome to the vessel. Well, actually, this does kind of just look like the entrance. Let's at least check this out first. <laughs> this place seems fishy. Oh my god, the skeletons! The children! Big hole. That's a dead tree. Oh, the bodies. All right, well, we'll go left first. I don't know about you guys, so I've, I've got a bit of a method when I'm in a puzzle, um, especially like a maze type of puzzle. Oh, that's nice. There's oxygen in here. Um, uh, where I always go left. Like, if I ever come up to a fork, you always go left, and then when you come back out, you take another left, and then you, in, you that way, never, uh, go to the same place twice, usually. Never get left behind. Ooh, too far. Oh, wow. It just, I got sucked out. Thank you. Oh, what? This is new. What? 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 It's so hard to navigate in here. Fuck, I'm just trying to adjust the direction. Okay, all right. It's all good, we're good. What's this do? Like, see, just like that, I wanna just be able to walk and I just can't because there's no gravity. <laughs> Is there anything else around here? Oh yeah, there's all this text. Let's do this text first. This is a large wall and we're starting in the corner. <laughs> to any know my clans whose vessels can hear this message. It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and place safe places within space now. So my clan and I believe the best option is for all- No, god damn it! 
It's for all our clans to stay together. We're just gonna have to come back here. Um, if you can reach the Blooming Galaxy, we've found that Black Rock's suns are fairly stable and life in this star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, you know, um, know you will be on your own. Uh, Kana, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear from you, Brahmi. We'll match, uh, we'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived, and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is upsetting. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearance of Eskal. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Eskal's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clans searched and searched, but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskal's clans existed, and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors, ancestors were told that the story when they were young. <laughs> Are you sure it's true? Hiss up. Uh, it was a very long time ago, but yes, my clan's ancestors searched for Eskal's clan for a long time, but in the end, none of them were ever seen again. Um, it's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. Uh, Hyssop, I hope you aren't comparing Eskal's story to my clan's vessel. And this is it. Alright, well, we'll go back. We'll go back and we're gonna read everything. Oh, see, I was missing this. I was missing that new discovery feeling. Man, I might close my window if there's no cats in here. It's like starting to get cold out. I'm gonna do that while we're at our loop. speed reading as you incinerated. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to finish that wall, but you know, that's not always how it be sometimes, but we'll just go back and we'll read the last little piece. And we're back. Okay. Because, like, the window's right there, I have to, like, crawl across my bed to close it, and I was like, no one needs to see that. Oh, I've been thinking about my, um, my channel points on my stream, too. I'm thinking about lowering them. Like, just across the board. Just lower everything. Because I want people to feel like they can use them. And just, like, not ever have to store them up. Except, I guess, for one of, like, the bigger point redemptions for, like, a baking stream or something. But instead of using channel points for those, I might do a community goal. Because that way you can just spend points. I don't know. Hey. Oh, man. I can mark it. We can just go there now. Uh, you've just been kind of saving yours, don't know why. I mean, like, stretch. <laughs> Thank you, I needed a good stretch. Um, I do the same thing on other channels. I like to just accumulate them and then suddenly I've got like 40 or 50,000 and the person doesn't even have any huge rewards. Um, maybe when you reach a, uh, an internal milestone, you'll absolutely spoil Harvey. He would love it. 
Oh my gosh. I don't know if I have a limit on that. Right now I only have a limit, I think, for uh, for like push-ups and sit-ups or, or push-ups and squats, I think. Um, because I can only do so many and I'm pretty pretty anti swole right now. I don't I don't have very much going on. I'm like getting it back, but I used to work out a lot. So I used to be able to do like 20 to 25 push-ups in one go and now I can do like 5. Um and then I'm sore the next day. So it's <laughs> it's quite a quite a shift. But I was on a uh, I was on Kai Bear's stream, uh, and someone, I think it was actually one of his mods, pointed out that there wasn't a limit on push-ups and sit-ups, and so everyone started spamming it, um, and just, like, absolutely murdered him, and, uh, he had to go and, uh, and, and put a limit and a, a cooldown on it. Um, and he also removed the mod privileges from that mod. Because he's like, you did something to hurt me. <laughs> Rip Kai Bear. Yeah, there was another one. It was, like, the next day. He, uh, 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 someone realized that there was no character limit if you donate a hundred bits. And, um, it would read aloud, like, auto-read aloud the message. And so people started sending, like, really long quotes and, and stuff. Um, that was really funny. <laughs> but also just, like, completely taking over the stream. Um, do we know which one of these this is? Can we send a scout and find out? You would have absolutely sent a novel. I don't blame you. Uh, which one of these do I have to go to? You can just tell me. We already got there once. It's just saving me a trip. If you know. Otherwise, I'm just gonna guess. Red is faster. All right, cool. Um, yeah, one one uh one person sent a a quote from Star Wars about like Darth Sidious the Wise or whatever. It was very funny. Um, I don't think I would ever set something that, uh, like that up on my stream, but it was it was tempting after watching that because it was so funny. Darth Plagueis the Wise, that's it. Have you heard the tale? Man, I kind of want to go back and rewatch, um, like some of the, uh, uh, prequels, um, of Star Wars, episodes one, two, and three, because they're just so funny now. Like, they're just absolutely memes. Um, I feel that way about Lord of the Rings, too, where it's been long enough now that when you watch it, it's just meme after meme after meme. Uh, my partner and I, he's never seen the extended editions of Lord of the Rings, and so we're watching through them. And we're about to start Two Towers, which is my personal favorite. And it also has the most memes. <laughs> Ark for sure. Very much same. Hey, Kyle. Kenzin? Do you prefer Kenzin? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Hi, 
Ohio, and I'm saying that right. Please, please let me know if I'm saying saying names names wrong. Always. I'm doing all right. Glad. To, good to hear. Good to hear. You're about to game, but got a little lazy. You know, I had lazy days for the last like week, so I feel ya. <laughs> I'm saying it right, cool, cool. Um, uh, I have the um, just the uh, the the Twitch stream, whatever stream manager. Oh my god, up on my phone because sometimes I can't. Like, if I have to type something, I can't tab out of the game very easily. And I looked over and it said that I had, um, uh, I was live. I'm saying, I am getting so tongue-tied today. Um, but it said that I had been live for ten minutes. I was like, that's not right. And then I realized it was an hour. I just got confused there. But, you know, it's... I was at work all day, and then I went grocery shopping, and then made dinner, and now we're here. My, that's where my brain's at. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> it's Thursday, to be expected, yeah. My job has been kind of weird lately. We have a lot changing over the next few weeks, and so I'm polishing up a lot of projects, and I like went to my, my manager, I'm like, hey, okay, I finished these things anything else that you need me to do before the end of the day. And he's like, are you trying to get me to give you more work? Because I'll do that. I was like, oh, no, no, that's fine. I've got plenty to work on. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't forgetting anything. <laughs> you know, just slide under. Um, I don't hear the things anymore, so I think we're good to... Wrong question to ask at the end of the day. Yeah. I just, I have a constant paranoia that I was, like, asked to do something and then, um, just, like, completely forgot. You've learned real quick to not ask for more work unless you want more work. I mean, yeah. All right, and we're back. Hey, Mike. Someone wants more work, that can be arranged. Don't you dare. For context, Mike and I work together. Hold up. Is that... The escape pod? Was that there before? Wind down one more day. I mean, I've got plenty to do tomorrow. Is this just another escape pod? Must be. I didn't notice that before. All right, excuse me, skeletons. Children, please. I need to come past, go past you. And we're, go we're going back here. Uh, you're in IT. Um, so that's the worst thing to say after doing a job. Oh yeah, IT, there's always work that needs to be done. No, I don't know why I went up the stairs. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's just get back to the end. We'll read the bit we missed. I like these little spiral texts. Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay. I hope you aren't comparing Eskal's story to my clan's vessel. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone. 
Neem, not yet. We aren't, but nearly. We found a tr we found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the bright spark star system exploded, and it was only lucky coincidence that we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kenna. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. Interesting, interesting. A while back on Reddit, someone actually made a conlang uh, con con writing system out of it. Out oh, of these spiral things? Wow, that's cool. No, no! Too far, too far. Uh, this is Eskal's vessel. Something went badly during our warp, and the vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have, uh, appears to have, has it, it fused with the local environment somehow? How are vines that are now part of the vessel? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside itself. We aren't abandoning our vessel. Any Nomai clans or spaceflight capable species receiving this message, I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Oh wow, I thought this would be another really long, really long one. I feel so bad about all these children. Uh, I'm gonna come back here. Just an SOS with no response. Almost sadder uh, that it's short in a way. Yeah. Yeah, they just gave up. Let's see what what's this way. I'm gonna go back to that other area, but I'm just very curious. Oh, maybe it's all blocked off. Yeah, it's just... The outside do that rendering glitch. Ugh. Fifty percent fuel remaining. Alright. Boink. Oh yeah, I wonder if we can get power somehow. Where's the ball? There it is. This is just a guess, but what if everything's lit up? Maybe, maybe, maybe. There's something down here. Oh, there is. Whoa! What's this? I'm recording now. I've never encountered anything like this before. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. This is our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone, prepare to warp immediately. Eskal, wait. I need more time to spend uh, to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell another clan where we're going? 
We can send the message upon our arrival. This extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly, and we can't lose a discovery this incredible. Focus on preparing for the warp instead. I understand. Anona, uh, is the vessel ready for warp to the signal's approximate coordinates? The warp core is powered, but this will be a significant jump. Afterwards, we'll need time to recharge the core. That shouldn't create a problem, provided we arrive at or near the signal source. Everyone, we're ready to warp. Uh, so, so this is mainly a puzzle game? Yeah, definitely. This is like... It's kind of like Antichamber and Subnautica, like, pushed together. It's it's a very space exploration. Um, uh, and... It has the most sense of discovery of any game I've ever played. Um, and yeah, um, ooh. Ooh. can I, can I touch this? I don't think so. Um, uh, 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 Kayo is, Kayo is right. If you have any interest in playing this game, I actually recommend not watching too much of it as much as I would love to have you here. Um, just because this game is so heavily influenced on you figuring things out. Um, but also, you're welcome to stay if you don't care that much. <laughs> or, uh, Cronarch. I'm sorry. I, I got the names backwards because I am... I don't know. Streamer brain is a real thing. Um, you're staying? Cool. Well, I'm glad to have you here. I'm going to go refuel, refuel, and then I'm going to mess around with stuff a little more. Ooh. Oh, bonk. Ship. 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 Hey, bud. Yeah. All right. Oh my god, so much text. Uh, most of this is just gonna be what we just read. You'll be lurking. Uh, your kids have found you trying to game. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, thanks for the lurk. I appreciate it. Uh, I found... Derelict Nomai's vessel deep within Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core is long dead, so we can't get this to go anywhere. I activated a three-sided pillar on the vessel's bridge that appears to be some sort of input device. The Nomai tried to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing message system broke during the crash. The vessel can still hear incoming messages from other Nomai vessels. The remaining Nomai clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. I found a recording of the original single the Nomai encountered from the Eye of the Universe. The Nomai were worried the signal might disappear, so they warped there before they could tell another clan where they were going. Um... I might could faintly hear the vessels begin. Okay. So how do we get there? That's the question. Man, the only undiscovered place left is the Ash Twin Project. God damn. I, I don't think there's anything left to be done here. Is If it's a recording, can I record it like I did the the distress thing. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to test out 
was uh, they're talking about a, sing a signal that this is still picking up. I also wanted to get into that undeployed shuttle, but it doesn't look like I can. I didn't get any kind of, like, notification of a uh, signal nearby. Don't know how this um, how this game works. Just a blind uh, blind guess. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much what I'm doing at this point. If you ever get a tattoo, it'll be the eye signal. Hell yeah. I want to get more tattoos. I want to get a sleeve. I have one tattoo, but it's definitely like not enough. What does this do? That is my question. This must be part of that warp core that's below, I guess. It's like maybe if I stand on it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The, uh, navigation. It always feels weird. Did this not go down? No, that just brought it down. Maybe it has to go through the center, too? Nope, 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 nope. Stop, stop, stop. One thing I'm not sure about with this game is if I like this mechanic of moving these balls around. I don't know how else the game should have done it. Um, what if it has to have all paths lit up? Is that possible, I wonder? I almost wish this was like the witness uh, in terms of how uh, how the uh, movement worked. Like, I wish it just locked into place a little bit. Alright, so that reset everything. Okay. This way? This way? This way? Nope, that's already going to be wrong. based on these rules that I'm making up. It has to end this way, this way, this way, this way. No, oh, I was closer, but not quite. I think I it out.
One, two, three, four, five. Oh no! Shit. Oh my god, has it already been 20 minutes? Fuck! I don't even know if this is important. <laughs> I, I assume it's not. Uh, but... There's just, there's lights, so, like, there, there must be a reason. Now I'm thinking too hard. I just need to get it to this. Let's just do it backwards. That way, that way, that way, that way. That way. I definitely don't have time to finish this, but I guess I'm getting practice in. go back to the ship. I want to... Oh, man. The computer is really thinking about it when it's loading this time. Only dropped a couple frames. Activated a three-sided pillar on the vessel's bridge that appears to be some sort of input device. I think I want to go back there again. Which feels a little silly, but I feel like I, I need more information to be able to get to the Ash Twin project, but I don't even know if I'm gonna get information about the Ash Twin project there because it wasn't even mentioned. I like noticing the, uh, the probe. I'm gonna go. have the info needed for the Ash Twin project. Um, is there more to learn at the vessel? I feel like there is. I feel like there must be.
Okay, component missing. Okay, well then maybe... Maybe I shouldn't go back there right now. Because I could just, like, try to mess with stuff more, but if it's not going to do anything, then maybe I won't. What I will do is I'm going to get away from Dark Bramble so I won't get sucked into it. Interloper! Hey, bud. Let's just slow down a little. So hopefully I won't get just like sucked into the sun. When I get up. Because the Ash Twin Project. This is the big hurdle. This is the big I don't know. Um, let's. I'm going to do some reading. And we're just going to see if there's anything I missed. Um, the central chamber inside of Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immense thick protective shell. The Nomai plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute uh, negative time interval on Ash Twin. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding statue, corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twins. So we know where it is. Um, the question is how to get into it. Uh, it's got to be a warp. We know that much because it is completely sealed off. So it must be a warp. But I've never seen a warp chamber that doesn't show you the landing pad. There, we haven't seen any teleportation um, fields, just like the warp ones. The Nomai successfully reproduced the temporal anomaly first observed at the Whitehall Station. Warped objects appear to arrive before they depart. The Nomai discovered they could increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure by adding energy to the warp cores. The Nomai wanted to know if a 22 minute negative time interval was possible. They concluded it would require new technology to produce the necessary energy as well as an advanced warp core to handle those energies. Ashton was proposed as a location. Statue warp shop. No, my mind ore from this site to craft a protective shell designed to physically seal off the central chamber inside Ash Twin. Once the shell was finished, the Nomai checked to ensure there was no longer a phys any physical entrances or cracks. Yep. BRB, sounds good. A warp tower's alignment point is not its warp uh, it A warp tower's alignment point is not its warp receiver. Rather, a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body. The warp receiver must be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. The Hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. All of the warp towers were being constructed on Ash Twin, while the six warp receivers were being constructed at different locations. I know my name to poke successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. Poke was on Brittle Hollow.
Uh, you came back and saw a flowchart that's your cue to leave again. I, yeah, I mean, so right now, uh, to give you an idea of, of what I'm doing is, um, the Ash Twin Project is the last place that I haven't been to yet that I'm aware of. Um, and there is a puzzle for how to get there. And I know, I know that I need to warp there, but I don't know where that warp receiver is. So I'm trying to just look at all the information that I have here and get an, any idea. Because what I've done so far is I've gone to each one of these warp towers. But I haven't worked it out yet. I know that one of these two went to the opposite planet. Went to the opposite Ash Twin. But the other did not. And it was broken, so I couldn't use it at all, it seemed like. I could try it again, but I think it was just broken. And I think there was one other place that still had more information, and it was... Where is it? There was a little map. Was it up here? The quantum locator. <laughs> You're lost, and that's completely fine. I This game is... Um, I mean, I've been lost ever since I started this game. I'm, like, figuring it out, and I'm, I'm getting it. But it's, uh... It's been a lot to take in constantly. Welcome to Outer Wilds. Exactly. Let's, let's just go back to the Ash Twins for a second. Or did I... Did I go to, like, the back of Timber Hearth? I don't... I think I've been back here. Yeah, I've definitely been in there. I don't recall checking this out, but I also... Oh, you thought it was Outer Worlds. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, different games that, they, that came out, like, very close to each other, but are very, very different. I haven't actually played Outer Worlds. I don't know very much about it. Yeah, alright. Alright, to the Ash Twins. But yeah, don't feel bad. I was curious how, um, how people stumble upon my stream. Because I, I know that some people uh, start hanging out because they're very familiar with this game. Or because they, um, uh, they, they, like, saw me on a shout-out somewhere or something. I'm always kind of curious how people stumble in. You started playing Outer Worlds and then your wife started a couple days after? It, it's multiplayer, right? That's fun. I want to play more, like, uh, uh, video game multiplayers. I have a, a large, well, my partner has a large collection of board games. I have a few board games. I've got more than the average person has board games or tabletop games, but um, you're still only an hour in. Gotcha, gotcha. Sand. 
We're waiting for the sand to drain into this other planet. I did not mean to do that. Alright, here we go. Now we're getting some towers showing up. Ship should be fine at this distance, maybe. Um, so, Kronark, I think you were gone while I was uh, talking, talking aloud. I, um, I know that it's a teleporter that we need to get into the, uh, the Ash Twin project. I just don't know which one. I know that this goes to the Sun Station, and I, I don't think that it's one of these. I, if it is, it's one of these two, but these are broken. So, like... This one just goes to the opposite twin. I'm like 100% certain of that. Uh, this one, I just don't think will work. I might like stand here and try to get it to work. Also, hello, uh, Zanakin. How are you? You just started this game and you're lost. I am like, I think I'm near the end of this game uh, and I feel very lost. <laughs> Uh, do you prefer Zanny or Zanakin or any particular pronunciation? Will this work? I doubt it. Part of me wants to try getting sucked up by the sand again, but I don't I don't think that's the, the goal either. Oh, well, we're doing it anyways. Yeah, it just always kicks me out. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. You don't have a preference? Cool. Fine by me. Ah! My idea did not work. It, it, it certainly did not work. You thought that was the solution? I'm gonna, I'll try it again. That'd be funny if that was like, actually, if I'm actually on the right path, cause I, uh, uh, oh. have tried that a couple of times, like specifically trying to get to the center and just didn't make it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it again. Because if that is the solution, then I figured it out by myself. And that makes me feel proud. We'll see, we'll see. Am I playing on PC? I am. I'm using a controller, but it's plugged into my PC. Alright, ship. Stay put. Am I wearing my suit? Yes. I will not suffocate myself again. Let's go all the way down. Oh, ho, ho. Uh huh. Hmm. 
kind of just here. Maybe I'll just wait. Stream delay? Is there, is the delay bad? My internet is pretty shit, so it's not, uh, Idle's low. Oh no. Oh, just enough to cause some communication. Gotcha. Were you referring to the teleporter or the sand then? Oh, did you see that? The uh, quantum moon was there, and then when I blinked, it uh, it vanished. <laughs> See, I played the Last of Us I've ever played. Days Gone. I haven't teleporter. All right, let's go back to the teleporter. We'll fiddle with that. Cause like I I feel like I've been getting close to the answer with one of these. That would have been really cool, though, if it was the sand. I'm just- I'm gonna say that. I kind of wish that that was the answer, because that would have been really cool. The sand just, like, pushed me into the Ash Twin project somehow. I don't know how, but it'd be cool. Um, but yeah, I have not played Days Gone. I don't know very much about it. Is that what- is that a multiplayer? I think it's a multiplayer. I don't play too many multiplayers unless it's, uh, like a co-op. I play co-op. That would be rad. Yeah. Because, like, that would have been really cool because the whole Ash Twin, like, it teaches you to, um, uh, to, uh, um, go through the sand and teaches you that like walking across sand at the right time is is, is important it's zombie game yeah I, I know it's a zombie game not multiplayer okay i should check it out i'm always looking for more games especially if it's anything like the last of us because that's one of my favorites And right now we're just kind of killing time. Just killing some time to get the teleporter to show up. Uh, what kind of games do do you play, Sandkin? And Cronark. I don't actually know what kind of games you play other than uh, than watching Outer Wilds. <laughs> More centered around a biker guy, but it's really intense and fun. Cool. I do like zombie games every now and again. For me, it's like a good narrative. Anything that has like a solid narrative is right up my alley. This one's much more like, this Outer Wilds is much more exploration with some, like, story. I mean, it does have a story, um, but the, the storytelling itself is not the primary gameplay, I suppose. As opposed to, like, The Last of Us, where the primary gameplay is, um, uh, uh you know, getting, getting to the next cutscene a little bit. Uh, all sorts, primarily sandbox or adventures with story. Cool. I assume you're gonna be all over Subnautica Below Zero, if not if you're not already. Cause I'm very excited to start playing that in a week or two. I don't so I would I don't know. Maybe maybe um y'all can give me some input because I really wanna play it at launch, but
but I wonder if I play it like a little bit after launch if it'll be better for people who like want to watch uh, maybe some like larger streamers who um, are gonna play it like right when it comes out all day so maybe if I give it like a week I don't know You play all genres right now, you're on your first Cyberpunk playthrough. I, so this is funny, I rented Cyberpunk from the library. Uh, my local library had a copy of it. Uh, so I, I rented it and I, I booted it up on my PlayStation 4 and of course it didn't run very well. Um... So this one just went to the uh, the other one on top of the rooftop. Maybe I have to like warp to the other one to like activate it. Oh, let's get out of the way. You're so excited for Subnautica? Hell yeah. The first one was so fucking good. I hope that the second one is as good as the first one, if not better. Uh, it's a pretty fun game, but definitely still buggy. Yeah, so like the, the problem that I ran into with it was um, that like this game, when I turn, it stays the same speed throughout. If I jump, like, it feels correct. Uh, in Cyberpunk, it just feels off on the PlayStation 4. It's, like, a little bit slow. There's, like, a motion blur that I had to turn off, and then turning that off helped, but it, then it just kind of looked weird, looked bad. Um, but Cyberpunk does a thing where if you start turning, it's like this and then like that. So it, it changes speed as you're turning. And and that, I just didn't didn't like it. Um, screw the motion blur. It's like, I can see it being good in certain games or certain circumstances, but not a game like that. I don't know. I think I'd have a lot more fun with it if, uh, if I was playing it on PC or on a PS5. You have a PS5 yourself? Gotcha. Yeah. I've, I've heard much better things about playing it on a PS5. I just don't have one yet. My partner has one, so I could theoretically just use theirs, but, um, I don't want to, like, move it and set it up and all that. I just, I'll wait. I'm gonna eventually get, uh, get one, and I really want it for the next Horizon game. Horizon, what is it? Forbidden West? But there's not a lot out coming up in the next couple of months that I was like, I need a PS5 right now. So. All right. Maybe if I... No, 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 no. She did the exact same thing that she had done previously and got the same result and was shocked. Well, let's wait on this one again. Maybe. Oh, maybe these two act as one because they both are going to the same astral body. So if we warp to the other one and warp back 
the other one will be activated. I think I said that earlier, but now I now I extra extra am thinking that. <laughs> now I'm gonna attempt it. So we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait until we teleport, and then we're gonna come back. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Hopefully we can do this in three minutes. Or hopefully there's just oxygen wherever we end up. It's a question. <sighs> oh. Giving it a minute. But yeah, on that last run around, I was hoping that if I just uh, had my rocket jets on to like keep me grounded, I was hoping that would work, but I still got sucked up by the stand. But that's what my, my thinking was, just to explain myself. What games are coming up? Have I run into the fish yet? The, uh, yeah, we, we've gotten to the, uh, angler fish. The angler fish were something. There's a couple of good clips of me just being, like, absolutely horrified of them. Alright. So we're here. We're gonna get off the, the thing. There we go. It's... Activated. Alright. Oh, is it activated? Please? Oh. You're gonna refrain from giving any more stuff um, unbidden. Since when did that one work in reverse? I don't know. <laughs> Where's my ship? I need more oxygen. We're gonna die. Oh, I feel like I'm so close. Okay. Alright. Let's... Where's the other ash twin? There it is. Where's that little teleporter? Where'd you go? If you were watching uh, Hasanabi play Subnautica not long ago, his reactions were great. You hate going underwater in games games though yeah that was on this planet right yeah oh, here it is right 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 yes no i was like 200 percent confident that it was on this planet but maybe i'm misremembering We're going back to the to this one. Uh. 
No, I create it keeping on topic. No worries. I mean, I'm like always happy if anyone in the chat can help keep the conversation going because I'm not used to doing it myself for multiple hours at a time. If if you wouldn't believe. Uh, <laughs> I usually do like a question of the day um, and stuff like that to help kind of like get conversation going but I don't think I updated it this time I think I forgot It'll get easier the longer I do it. Yeah, absolutely. Like, um, I've been streaming for about two months now, something like that. So I'm still just like getting used to being live on the internet. Um, <laughs> and so like, where am I? I'm on the Southern half of the planet. Yeah, so, yeah, that planet is, uh, is taking the sand back, and, like, eventually it'll just go back and forth. But, uh, there, we're in a 20-minute loop, so it, it never gets that far. Oh, there's- wait a minute, are there two of these? No. What's up here? I've definitely been here and read that before. Maybe I should read it again, though. Because I don't remember what this said, and due to its location, maybe it's very relevant. visiting from the Hanging City, we are planning the Ashton Project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twins Crater. Maybe I should go back to the High Energy Lab? Maybe there's like, there's, there was, ah, there was that power, um, station thing that I could manipulate. Maybe if I, if I change something there, but that was just like adjusting the duration of the loop. Hmm. Hmm. Don't take me. Oh, ship! No! Ship! Ship! Come back! Oh, I'm so dead. Man, I wish that walking into that sand did something. It would've been cool. You wouldn't have thought of this solu solution personally if you hadn't already known it. I, um... I've definitely been told similar 
uh, by a couple of friends who played this game. They said that the Ash Twin Project was uh, the, the most indirect puzzle in the game. That, like, it does technically give you everything you need to get there, but it's not obvious. I also don't even think I can get back into the high energy lab. Um, without resetting the loop. I guess I'll go back. That feels silly, but... Oh, that's so big. Meditate until next loop. Like, I don't know. I'm eager to figure it out. I'm just like, I'm eager to get there. But uh, I don't want to be over eager. I don't want to, like, rush through it, but... I think... I think I'm gonna give it one more loop. Maybe one or two more loops, and we'll see where we get. If I don't figure it out tonight, that is okay. Uh, because I think I will get it or I can I can have a little nudge in the right direction during the next stream but it'll also like give me an opportunity to think on it just a little bit more because I would love to solve the last puzzle on my own who knows if I will but I, I would it would be nice um, Especially, like, this weekend when I can stream, like, during a, during the day and not have a time pressure, you know? These planets are so cool. Oh my god. I will like I will never tire of how cool they are. is uh to where is it high energy lab sunless city there we go man i am so glad that who was it i think it was somnific pointed that out to me because holy shit knowing this little map icon. So convenient. It is also nice to have all of this memorized. I'm kind of missing some music, though. I feel like we haven't had any music in a really long time. Hey, 
Odin. You're lurking while in class? Well, thank you so much for the lurk. I hope that your class um, is good and not, not too dull. <laughs> I'd ask you some questions about it, but I know you're lurking. So I'll just have to follow up another time. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> I mean, if you want. I was the worst student in college, and, like, looking back, I know it was awful of me, but, like, I'd be on my phone in the back of the class, and, like, I was listening to everything, and I was taking notes, and I I got very good grades, so, like, it wasn't ever, like, a problem, but it was definitely just flat-out rude. But also, I got school. College was, like... I don't want to say that college was a mistake for me, but I didn't I didn't do it right. I should have uh, picked a different major and approached my classes differently. Gotta wait for the sand. This puzzle was tricky. I remember this one like this one was tough. This one was just stressful. Honestly. Just waiting it out. Hope it works. Knob, hello! How are you doing today, Nob? It's become a bit part of my routine to lurk in your stream in the morning while I'm at work. You're doing great? That's awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. I'm doing pretty well myself. I'm like, I'm just in a good mood. Appreciate the lurkage. Yeah, it's um, always really nice to have like fun conversation and happenings going on while I'm also doing grueling spreadsheets. <laughs> it, it, uh, good enough, good enough. Good enough. All right. Oh, right. I remember this. Ah, yeah. It didn't take as long this time. Um, that is definitely the work that needs accompaniment. Yeah, it's like... It's more engaging than, like, than some spreadsheet types, but it's, like, I don't know. I, I It's really difficult for me to focus when there's nothing going on. Um, I need, at a minimum, music. Actually, I'd say music is ideal. That is the best case scenario for my work productivity is I've got some good background music on. But, but streams are, are much more entertaining, without a doubt. And as long as I get my work done, then, you know, it's... Who's gonna complain? Alright, so we're back here. Hey, Brooks. How are you doing? Good to see ya. It's been a while. You're not telling. I have to be extra defensive because I know I have a couple co-workers in chat. <laughs> Not that, I mean, they're also on Twitch, so, like, as long as they don't say anything, I won't say anything. Mm 
All right, game. I'm here. And I'm trying to figure you out. Ah, the mutual blackmail. Blue space ahoy! You were lurking, but you're back. Welcome back. Um. This game. This game be wild. Nope, nope. Stay there. Alright, I think I've decided. I don't like this highlight the thing as long as you're like touching it it moves i think i don't like that i'd rather just like click on it and then kind of like lock into space and move it i think the music is great yeah so um i was saying earlier a little bit i was like starting to talk about it that the music in this game is first off phenomenal very very good and well placed um, but the way that the music is implemented, you only get certain tracks when you're in certain areas. So you kind of, like, you have new experiences in all sense, uh, when you get to a new location. And I think that's very, very well done. Um, the, what I, what I don't like is that if you're in an area where there isn't music and you're trying to figure something out, there's very long spans of no music. And then it feels very absent. So, like... When you get to those other areas, it feels super refreshing to get those new tracks, but also those other times feel very grueling without it. So, I, I mean, I'm sure that's intentional, and that's, that's part of the system. Man, so this is how it was. Right? Like, this is how it was. What's their problem with a physical button? Why was this the thing Nomai went with for all their switches, right? They're like, we don't want to touch anything. Let's- I forget where this goes. I think this goes to the Sunless City, actually. I'm like 99% certain this just goes to the Sunless City. Yeah, I think that goes to the Sunless City. This game. Listen here, game. I know you're trying to tell me something. I'm so excited to just listen to the whole soundtrack on its own when I, uh... Oh yeah, look at that! It does come out of the other portal before it enters. That's pretty cool. Um, some other games do that with music. You want to say The Last of Us, maybe? So, with The Last of Us, though, it's, it's super narrative, right? There's no, like, exploration. It's not like once you get it's it's all pre pre planned, you know. Whereas, like in this game, it's open world, so it feels a little bit different. But yeah, definitely, like any game is gonna have their music strategically placed for when you get to a certain place in the plot, which is basically what this game is doing. I just feel like it was executed very well. Uh. Oh yeah, I dropped some frames. Hold on, give it a give it a moment. Um, the internet at my apartment is just really shitty, so let's just see if it. Let's see, let me see what I can do. Shush, shush. Um. Not buffering now. I'm. It's definitely like. 
uh, my internet speed is low right now. The uh, OBS is like, hey, shit, you've got some issues here. But I... Unfortunately, I just have shit internet. Um, like, one thing that I've noticed is if um, I'm ever streaming or my partner is streaming and either one of us downloads something from Steam, um, it doesn't matter what it is or if the, the speed is throttled on Steam or whatever, it will absolutely tank the internet. Let's see. Actually, I'd, I want to get back to the other side. Yeah, I want to go back to the other side. Well, it looks like it's getting faster, so hopefully it'll just clear up. But I did drop a bunch of frames. <laughs> uh... Here it is, here it is. Alright, ship. You're in the line of fire. Don't go anywhere. Right, I guess I should refuel. Might as well. So we've definitely been here. Been there. I'm just curious if there's anything else around. It seems to have stabilized. Alright, I'm still in the red, but you know. Spoke too soon? Yeah, sorry. Sorry, guys. I hope it's not completely unwatchable. I'll try not to do anything too fascinating between now and then. It's funny, you guys say that it's good, but I've also dropped 15,000 frames. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just gotta laugh it off, right? So here's my last ditch effort, okay? I am going to step onto the portal when this is like halfway. All right. Whoa! 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 We did it! 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 We're here! Oh, that's the Ash Twin Project! Oh! And I'm like, I'm like waiting for, for, for chat to respond because of the lag. We have a couple of minutes. Oh man. I'm going to pause. I'm just going to pause for a minute.
Okay. All right, it seems to be stabilizing a little bit. Okay, there was one thing that you thought I was gonna do in the hell, but that's fine. Six minutes until end of cycle. I want one of these. Oh, this is so disorienting. Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in the space we carved, uh, we will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin Project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We all need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab. Uh, I still can hardly believe Rami's hypothesis was true. Yaro, Poke just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant's Deep, where Kasaba is working with Evans to craft the Orbital Probe Cannon, where Plox is sculpting the memory stat statues. GG's! <laughs> Hypothesis. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis. The cores could have been forged faster if Kasava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. <laughs> that sounds very familiar. Also, hello, Giant Sequina. How are you doing? The important point is that we are all connected through Ash Twin now, uh, and also that I'm no longer needed for meditating your disagree mediating your disagreements. Our friends on Giant's Deep tested the Orbital Probe Cannon today. Mallow tells me the cannon is doing well and that Avans advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avans can. But then if anyone can uh, uh, go a device into exploding, that too is likely Avans. Perhaps I should check in with the Orbital Probe Cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Avans that Mallow, his love, will be one of the Nomai abroad, uh, aboard the cannon, or is Mallow part of the problem? Blox and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. When the Ash Twin project succeeds, or in the event that it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing uh, us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pi and Idea have worked hard on the Sun Station, and at last it is complete. If everything goes as planned, the structure will prompt the Sun's explosion, which will be, which will in turn supply the power uh, the Ash Twin project requires. I'm impressed by their mental f uh, fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. Oh, look at all this shit. How is the, uh, how are, how are the frames doing? Are we, are we doing okay? Yeah, new music. Oh, I'm, st I'm still dropping frames. I'm dropping frames right now. Hold on. I just pinged my roommates just in case. Just because it's in my, uh, my dropped frames have doubled. And that would be quite unfortunate to have a bunch of dropped frames right now. Okay. 
Uh, we're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin project. Here's what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin project will send, uh, send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. Mallow is part of the problem. Mm -hmm. In total, each cycle created by Ash Twin Project will last precisely 22 minutes, and we can end the cycle at will. It's stable? Okay. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ash Twin project is theoretically sound, where we're only unable to power it. Perhaps there's another way. Suppose we redesign the sun station to generate power of that magnitude. A supernova is still our only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. This is, uh, this is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, idea, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. The stream isn't buffering anymore, but maybe there's some FPS drop that you're not seeing. Yeah, it's definitely dropping on my end, but I, I, there's nothing I can do about it, so we'll just keep going. We'll just power through. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system, and we're anxious to explore it. It has been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. I'm wondering if because we're, like, uh, protected from the supernovas in here if um oh where was the projection ones over here installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project box. They, uh, they look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds, otherwise I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as, sa as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. Will they? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Big jump, you think you just synced up? Gotcha. Yeah, I'm, I'm more green now. We're, we're getting green. I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here is working on the Ash Twin project, is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? Don't worry, love. Poke is the only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her work is beautifully clever. The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished. And if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Oh, this music. Timber Hearth. My gratitude for the latest shipment. Oh, no. 
Uh, this ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'm delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ashtrum project could lead to disaster. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll look to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Rami and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks, our final safety check. So this one I remember. I remember reading this one recently. Are these always the same? Because some of them I don't remember. And maybe that's just on me. Because I know when they go into the other one, they're always the same. Maybe they just put them there so that you can, like, remember who everybody is. Artificial gravity control. Yeah, we'll leave that on. What's this do? Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. No, I want to read it. I want to read it. You are about to access the core while the Ash Twin project is active. Wow, I, I disconnected from the chat room. Oh my god. Sorry, guys. And maybe I do... Oh, ow. Oh, jeez. Can you imagine if I died right there? Fuck. That was close. Am I still gonna get eaten by the supernova? Did I just... I powered down the Ash Twin project. What does this... Those are in case you missed something. Oh, we're still getting a supernova. Are we not gonna lose? You are dead. Wow. Holy shit. I was working under the assumption the whole time I was playing this game that I was trying to save everyone. That I was trying to... either stop the supernova from happening...
Oh my god. This song, you, chat must be pretty lagged because we got some crickets right now. But holy crap, what a cool game. What a what a phenomenal game. I am I'm just kind of in awe. That that wasn't the ending I was expecting. Wow. Thesis advisors. I, I just, I can't get over how well put together this game is. I also just, that was very much not what I was expecting. There's more. Mm. Well, apparently there's going to be some DLC soon, so that's exciting. Resume expedition. Let's look, let's go back in. <laughs> you are dead. <laughs> ba, da, 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 da. This this song in the menu is like getting a hug. That's what it feels like. Feels like just getting a hug. GG, you were lurking. Welcome back from your lurk work. It's an ending, the true ending, I have yet to find. Very interesting. Let's go to my ship. I. Yeah, look at that. There's more to explore here. Oh, no, no, it doesn't say there's more to explore here. I'm sure that there's more there. Um, more to do. But fuck. Alright, well, I definitely want to find the true ending. I definitely want to want to know more. If I want to know if there's an alternate ending, for sure. Um, but I think that this is a great place to stop for tonight. Especially since I'm dropping frames and stuff. I'm uh, Next time I stream, I hopefully won't have a spike of issue like that again. Um, but this has been such a wonderful game to play. I have been really just impressed every step of the way. Even when I was feeling pretty stuck, nothing really felt, felt insurmountable. Not a good ending. Um, well, the, the ending that we saw, Orc, was that we just stopped the reset. So just like everyone dies. <laughs> um, so... It was an ending. Um, I, it was not the ending I expected. I wouldn't even say it was a bad ending. I just, it really wasn't what I thought. The universe ended. Yeah. Like. Dang. What the hell? Um, I'm definitely going to come back to this game. I do want to explore a little bit more. Uh, especially with the Ash Twin Project, whatever this true ending is, I want to find that for sure. Um, I want to see everything that this game has to offer because I'm just so, so engulfed by it. Um, but I definitely want to stop here for tonight and give somebody a, a raid. And let's see who's online. But thank you so much for the new follows today. Um, uh, Zanny, it was nice to have you in chat. Cronark, thank you for your help. Jensquina, Orc, Lou, thank you all for being here. We had so many, so many people hanging out, and it was really great to see. Um, let's 
take a look, see who's online. 